Welcome to Lifestyle Matters. I'm Marilyn Moore, and June is National Cataract Awareness Month, which is why we are at IQ Vision Care with Dr. Hinton, and he's going to tell us all about it because, you know, I've heard that word before. I'm not entirely sure I know what a cataract is, so do you mind explaining what it is? Absolutely. Uh, cataract is the lens of the eye. So the lens is right behind the iris, which is the colored part of your eye. And when it gets dirty, it's kind of like a dirty window. So the more time that goes by, the dirtier the lens gets and the worse it is for people to see. The cloudier it makes it or it makes it hard to drive at night or uh, they get starbursts from light, things like that. But basically, it's a dirty window into your eye or a dirty lens in a camera that you can't see through. Now, how does your, your lens get dirty? Basically, it's birthdays or age that cause it. I usually say birthdays because people, when I tell them they're too old, they don't like that very much. But birthdays, people seem to like a little better. Uh, sun exposure over time, we think, has contributed to it. So we recommend that people wear their sunglasses all the time when they're outside to prevent it from getting worse. But even when people take all the precautions, if you get old enough and you live long enough, you're going to get cataracts. Now, what are the symptoms? I know you mentioned a few blurry vision, but what are the other ones? Uh, most of the symptom is cloudy vision. The first thing people usually notice is driving at night. They'll get some starbursts from uh, headlights or they'll have a hard time seeing uh, street signs. Uh, the other thing that people notice is that their uh, TV ticker on the bottom, the sports scores or the news ticker on the bottom gets very difficult to read. Um, and eventually it causes total blurriness. You can't see anything if it gets if it gets bad enough. We don't like to let them get that bad. We want to take care of them before that. Now, what's the point where it gets so bad? I mean, you know, what, what what's someone going to be experiencing? It's going to be hard for them to do something in their life. So mm -hmm. we see cataracts all the time. Anybody over about age 45 starts to get a little bit of cataract. But that's not a reason to take them out. The reason to take them out is when they're having trouble with the usual activities that they like to do. Most people tell us they have trouble reading or they have trouble driving or doing their needlepoint or their hobbies. Uh, so we take care of cataracts once it causes a problem with the daily activity of life. Now, when someone comes in here for an appointment, what are the steps you take them through if they have a cataract? So they get a full exam. They get their glasses checked to see if we can make it better uh, by doing glasses or contacts or laser instead of, uh, instead of surgery. Uh, they eyes are examined under a microscope. They have some very special scans called A scans to uh, find out how long the eye is and measure the curvature of the eye uh, so we can decide what type of lens to put in. And then we go over a bunch of information about what the surgery is going to be like. What the What is the cataract? What are our options for surgery? What kind of lenses can we put in? And is surgery right for you? And uh, then we get them, when people decide that the surgery, the when people decide that the vision is bad enough for surgery, uh, we get them on schedule and taken care of. Now, how often do you have to recommend surgery? What's the, what would you say the percentage is? Um, most, most people who come in for a cataract of elf, somebody else has seen a cataract, or if they're coming and complaining of cataract symptoms, it's about one out of five that end up mm -hmm. getting uh, scheduled initially. That's, I mean, that's a good percentage, but yeah. as long as they can prevent it maybe and catch it beforehand, then we're, we're avoiding surgery. Yeah, surgery, um, we want to do surgery at the right time. We don't want to do it too soon when they're not having any problems and put the eye at risk. Risk mm -hmm. of surgery is very, very low. It's only 1%. But still, if you're not having a problem, there's no reason to put your eye at risk. But we also don't want to be doing cataract surgery when the vision is so bad that it's been keeping them from doing stuff, making yeah. it so they can't work or making it so they can't enjoy their life. We want to do it somewhere in the middle where it's starting to cause them problems, and yet it's not at the point where it's going to make the surgery really hard to do. And now, does surgery have a high success rate, or is there a chance of a cataract growing back? Now, the cataracts will not come back once they're taken mm -hmm. out. Uh, sometimes there gets to be a haze on the back of the lens that has to be lasered. This happens about 10% of the time in patients that we do a secondary laser. But that's a very easy procedure compared to the cataract. Uh, the cataract itself is not that hard either. It's about a 10 to 15 minute outpatient procedure. Uh, you don't go completely asleep. You just get an IV with some relaxing wow. medication going in. So uh, some people say it's easier than going to the dentist. But don't tell my dentist <laughs> I said that. Well, how, you know, obviously none of us want a cataract, so how can we prevent it? I know you said sunglasses. Is there anything else that we can do? Um, there's not a whole lot else that you can do. There are, there are some drops out there that people sell or some vitamins. We have no scientific proof that any of that does any good. Wearing sunglasses with UV protection does slow them down, but it doesn't keep them from happening. 
Okay, doctor, real quick, can we grab that right eye um, right there? Can you just explain what we're looking at? Sure, so this is a model of the eye. Out in the front is the cornea, that's the clear part that covers the eye. Right behind that is the iris, the color part of people's eye. And right behind that is the lens. This is the lens that turns into cataract. You can see that it's clear right now, but this gets dirty, like a dirty window, so you can't see through it. And that's why, even when you have your right glasses on, and you're trying to look through a cataract, that image that gets back here is all dirty, so you can't see through it. So this, we, is what we, this is what we take out and replace with cataract surgery. And we do not want a dirty lens. Well, doctor, thank you so much for your time. And viewers, remember, if you have any eye problems, eye questions, IQ Vision Care is here to help you. Thanks for watching the show. I'm Marilyn Moore.